Identifying as a Marvel fan isn't always the easiest thing to do. We're sure you've been through your fair share of ups and downs, laughs and tears, heartbreak and joy, but that's not even the worst of it, is it? We assume it's waiting in agony for the next Marvel Cinematic release, right? And that's precisely why we put together a list of all these Marvel movies coming out in the next three years, so make sure to stay tuned. Let's get right in. First off, The Return of Wakandan Glory. Black Panther proved to be one of the most successful franchises of the Marvel Marvel Universe, making nearly $1.4 billion at the box office. Naturally, director Ryan Coogler was all game and ready, brainstorming his plans for Black Panther 2 to feature the grandiose comeback of Chadwick Boseman as the protagonist. But after the actor's sudden demise in 2020, Coogler had to rewrite most of the screenplay. However, Boseman's significance is in no way sidelined. The entire premise of the sequel will revolve around Wakanda's people being forced into action, defending their home after the the demise of their leader T'Challa. The official synopsis says that Queen Ramonda, Mabaku, Shuri, Ladora Malaje, and Okoy work to protect their homeland from intervening world powers and colonizers in the wake of King T'Challa's death. As the Wakandans strive to embrace their warrior spirit, the heroes unite together with the help of war dog Nakia and Everett Ross and forge a new way of life for the Wakandan kingdom. The sequel will also be introducing Tenoch Huerta as Namor, leader of a secret undersea nation, which begs the question, how many more revelations are there going to be? Next up, Raven's action-packed launch. If you're an OG fan, this name may not sound so unfamiliar to you. The next of the non-MCU scheduled Marvel releases is the Craven the Hunter movie. Following the blueprints of Venom and Morbius, Sony Pictures Universe will be handling yet another Spider-Man villain. And while it isn't confirmed if Craven will be part of Sony's anticipated Sinister Six movie, Craven was still an important piece of the villain ensemble, so it looks quite plausible. The idea for the solo movie was first envisioned in 2018 and just two years later, it had a script drafted by Richard Wenk and then rewritten by Art Markham and Matt Holloway. Then J.C. Chandor was in talks to direct the film. After Aaron Taylor Johnson was locked to play Craven's titular role and filming began, plenty of first look footage clips and teasers have surfaced. As of now, it's set for an early 2023 premiere. But quite Questions are being raised about it fitting into Sony's Spider-Man universe equation and, by extension, the larger MCU's multiverse, especially considering Aaron Taylor Johnson's prior MCU attempt as Quicksilver. That's one faded chance at redemption, huh? We really hope he doesn't blow it. Following this is Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. This will be the debut of Marvel's Phase 5, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, which is set to come out in 2023. And let us tell you, folks, anticipation for for this one is off the charts. Do you feel the same? Hang on tight to know why. Coming back, this one will be building on Ant-Man and the Wasp, where Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne were confirmed for a threequel. The duo will once again be accompanied by Michael Douglas's Hank Pym and Michelle Pfeiffer's Janet Van Dyne. And God Lord, is that a cast full of trailblazers? We can't help but be glued to the news updates. Coming on to other supporting cast members, Emma Furman, who appeared in Avengers Endgame, will be replaced by Catherine Newton, who will assume the character of Cassie Lang, whereas Peyton Reed will once again take on the mantle of directorial responsibilities, working from a script written by Rick and Morty's Jeff Loveness, which, by the way, is flipping awesome, isn't it? Our fellow pseudoscience geeks. As for the principal photography, which concluded in 2021, the film hints at an early release date in 2023, which is one of the aftershocks of COVID affecting production schedules. However, any changes in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania might be worth the wait, because the iconic Marvel villain Kang the Conqueror will be making his dashing debut in the MCU. We can't rule out our favorite goofy guardians now, can we? Following their brief appearance in Thor Love and Thunder, good news is that the Guardians are all set to make a return for the third time in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Interestingly, Marvel's updates regarding the third installment have been pretty flaky because of all the issues that came up. For one, director James Gunn was fired by Disney after he was called out for his offensive jokes he made on Twitter years ago. And with fans and colleagues coming out to fiercely oppose his cancellation, he was eventually rehired. This and several Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 delays meant that filming didn't commence 
until 2021's final quarter, and that really put all the updates to a halt for the fans eagerly waiting. But coming to the saucy part, the Guardians 3 plot is still under wraps, but from what we know, it will take a closer look at Rocket Raccoon's background arc and have Peter Quill handling a version of Gamora who has no memory of him. However, the full cast is confirmed to return, followed by cameo appearances from the Guardians in Thor Love and Thunder. Will Poulter will finally be taking Adam Warlock to the silver screen after the tease in 2017's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 post credits, and Chukwudi Owuji will play the High Evolutionary, an enigmatic character from Marvel Comics. Up ahead, the Marvels make way. The Marvels is an odd one out in Marvel movies since it's a sequel to both an MCU movie and a Disney Plus series. And while not a hit quite as massive as the likes of Avengers Endgame, Captain Marvel's first adventure was still a decent debut on its own. And so it's no surprise that Brie Larson's Carol Danvers is set to make a sizzling return for a sequel in 2023's Summer Window. Now officially titled as The Marvels, the sequel will see Carol join forces with a now mature Monica Rambeau and Kamala Khan. The latter, if you happen to live under a rock, made her debut in the Ms. Marvel Disney Plus series. The Disney Plus show laid a lot of groundwork from the Marvel's premise, most prominently with the Ms. Marvel post credit scene. This showed Carol Danvers and Kamala Khan switching positions with Carol being confused in Kamala's bedroom, the walls of which are covered with Captain Marvel fan art, whereas Monica Rambeau hinted at her powers in WandaVision. Together, the trio will work to fight against Zawe Ashton's mystery villain. Nia DaCosta has been signed to direct with WandaVision's Megan McDonnell officially writing the script. Are you feeling the same cosmic buzz we are? And then we have the Blade reboot coming up. Marvel announced a new Blade movie as its biggest weapon at the 2019 Comic-Con presentation and three years later, there's still a lot in the gray. The Blade reboot has a script written by Stacey Osei Kuffer and the Oscar winner Mahershala Ali is set to play the vampire slaying titular protagonist. The MCU was hinting Blade was not too far off after Easter eggs hinted at his role in Loki and Mahershala Ali's Blade was then confirmed to be the voice talking to Kit Harington's Dane Whitman, Black Knight in Eternals. The movie will be narratively close with the Eternals in the wider MCU arc, quite similar to the cosmic space opera connection model between Thor and the Guardians of the Galaxy. The original Blade starring Wesley Snipes has a huge cult following, many of whom aren't aware the movie was sourced from a comic book. And while the 1998 Blade and its sequels aren't really superhero modules, it will be fun to see both how a Blade movie operates when it acknowledges that character's comic book superhero background and how fans of the original 1998 Blade franchise respond to the character when he's seen alongside the likes of quintessential Marvel heroes like Spider-Man or Thor. Up next is the highly anticipated return of Captain America. This arguably is the most anticipated movie out of our list. It's Cap, come on! So Captain America New World Order will see Sam Wilson taking up the main mantle on the silver screen, hinting at a release for May 3rd, 2024. The next Captain America movie is likely to focus on Captain America's successors, Falcon and the Winter Soldier while also drawing on events from other franchises in the interlinked MCU. Anthony Mackie is confirmed to reprise his role as Sam Wilson. However, no further news on the ensemble yet, but Julius Ona is on board to take the directorial reins on this one. The full title was announced at SDCC 2022, alongside the new Captain America movie release date, so it's early days for the movie's promo and teasers. More new Captain America 4 news will likely surface after the MCU phase, five launches with Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. That's a wrap for this video. If you think we've missed out on some movies, make sure to let us know in the comments below. And before you run, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and press the subscribe button for more videos like this. See you next time. Until then, ciao!